Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for clicking on today's video. So I'm pretty excited for what we're going to be playing with and I have a feeling you guys will be excited too. If you don't know who I am, hi, hello. My name is Janessa and you guys already know we like to do nails here on my channel. I try and bring you guys at least one, two, sometimes even three videos every single week. So if that sounds like something that you're interested in, then please consider hitting that subscribe button down below join our little family we have going on here. I've seen a handful of you guys request to see the Savvyland Builder Gels like in the little pots, you know? And it just happened to work out that they sent the Builder Gels to me along with some nail tips and a bunch of other stuff. So thank you so much to Savvyland. You guys are going to be seeing a lot more of them coming up on my channel this year as well, which I'm excited for because variety is good, right? Anyway, if you would like to check out the Savvyland Builder Gels, and chit chat do some nails with me then please keep watching bye all right let's get to unboxing all the goodies we got the first thing we have here are the professional nail tips by savvy land and i'm not gonna lie i was actually really really blown away by these i sometimes have a hard time wearing these half cover nail tips because my fingernails are like shaped kind of weird so half cover nail tips sometimes stick out weird on me but uh, i really really like those okay so first thing we have in the builder gel kit are these three brushes they look a little flimsy but they're actually really good we have some nail forms and then we have a little a thank you note from savvy land just a nice little touch so here are all the builder gels there are 12 pots and i'm going to show you what they look like they're really nice and here's also a little side by side comparison so you can see how big it is and then dun 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 you guys i hate these kinds of openings on products like they literally are my worst enemy it just makes it kind of messy since the builder gel like slides around you know um, but i'm going to show some swatches now so this is the top row for the second row that third one is clear so i didn't add that one and then there is the last one so i already prepped my nails i will link a video if you want to see how i prep my nails right here in the cards but it's the same every video so i'm going to use base coat to apply my nail tips you can always use nail glue but i just really like using base coat because i feel like it's a lot easier on my nails um i can sometimes not get nail glue off my nails to save my life so the base coat just makes it a lot easier um, you should give it a try it works with plastic and soft gel and nail tips and I just really think that these ones looked really cute they were snatched coffin and on my pointer finger I have to like clip off the little ends because they kind of sticked out on me but yeah if you haven't tried nail tip applying like this definitely give it a try I think you really like it just use some base coat and you adhere them to your fingernail. So after I have all the nails on, I then I'm going to take my file, my drill, and just buff the surface, the shine off of the top. Um, this is just makes like, I feel like, I don't know, why do we do this actually, you guys? Is it just so the poly gel like sticks better to the nail? Um, because people do it with the acrylic too. So let your girl know why we do this, but I'm just gonna do it because everyone else does. So remove the shine off of your full cover nails. And yeah, so how is everybody doing? I hope you're doing good. I just became a, an, a, a brand ambassador for Candy Acrylics. Um, the cutest acrylics ever, you guys. If you have trouble with uh, monomer, they have the best low odor monomer. So stay tuned. I'm going to be showing you guys a video using their products soon. But I'm going to be using this gorgeous pink color for today's nails. Today's nails are inspired by Jenny Fajayas. If you don't follow her, you, you should subscribe to her channel. She's really good at nails. But um, I am a sucker for builder gel. I absolutely love it. You're gonna see me grab a big blob of that and kind of just work it on my cuticle. Um, with Builder Gel, it's kind of cool because you don't need slip solution and you kind of just like walk the product around. Um, you hardly ever remove the brush from the product while you're doing it. Um, you kind of just like keep the brush on the product the entire time and you just kind of walk it around on your nail. Um, it's super cool. It does self-level, so you have to be kind of fast in the sense that if you take too long, it will start to flood your cuticle. 
So whenever I use builder gels, I do a lot of flash curing. Um, you'll see me do this one layer right here. I'm going to cure it. I'm going to go back in with another layer, cure it, and with another layer, cure it. Um, and that just, I find that to be a lot easier for me. This color was really pigmented, so I actually only needed to go in with two layers. But on this, on this layer, I am building up the apex. Um, it's super important to do when you're doing poly gel on top of the nail. Obviously, when you do the laser girl method, then the structure of the nail is already built for you. But when you do on top of the nail, you kind of have to, um, you know, get more of the technique in with doing nails. So make sure you practice building your apex. The reason we do apex is it, it helps keep the strength of the nail. And then if you see me, you're going to see me like turn my nail over a lot. And that's because with the builder gel, if you flip your nail over and hold it upside down, it lets the product kind of seep into the middle and lets the apex actually be there. Um, like I said, this product self levels. And so if I didn't flip it over, all my, all my apex work would just flood to the cuticle. So... It's a little bit of a learning curve, but these um, butter gels were very easy for me to work with. Um, if this was my first time working with them, I would like butter gel because it was more stiffer than runnier. But um, yeah, butter gels, they're meant to be on the runny side, which I don't mind, you know. Um, it's all about preference, but that's the thing. Like, I feel like with me, I can actually work with everything. Um, I can work with poly gel, builder gels, and now acrylic. I can't wait for you guys to see my acrylic videos. I had to just practice a couple of times off camera, but um, I actually did film my first time ever doing acrylic with the Mia Secret kit. So I'm gonna like show you guys cause it was an adventure. I'm not gonna lie. The first time using it was a little bit hard, but I really, really love it. So as you guys just saw, you saw me walk that product down the whole entire nail. Um, it's really how you do it. Like you can just grab a blob of it and put it on and then just walk it down the nail. It's super cool. I, I, I wonder how they make it, you know? I mean, obviously I know it's a mix between poly gel and acrylic, but it's just the, the consistency, the viscosity is very interesting. And I, I really, really enjoy working with these. Have any of you guys worked with builder gel before? Um, I know that I don't really have like a lot of negative reviews on my channel, but that's because I really haven't tried a lot of like terrible products. I really, really liked this. I would give these builder gels like a 10 out of 10. <laughs> and then I'm going to be using this Ohuhu number no. 4 nude poly gel from their 12 color poly gel kit. And like I said, these nails were inspired by Jenny and she always does, not always, but a couple times she's done this like super cute, it's almost like a um, French tip, but it's like a V tip, French tip. So this is my first time trying this. Um, since it was my first time, I need a little bit of practice getting my triangles a little bit more snatched and perfect um she did them a little bit longer and skinnier so i think i'll try that next time but i still think they turned out really cute and i really liked this color of poly gel as you can see the brush i'm using had a few sparkles on it from a previous set that i didn't clean off well enough so um if you're anything like me ocd you're gonna get really annoyed that those little sparkle dots are there but i i removed them so don't let it bother you too much. <laughs> but I just go in with two layers of this poly gel on each of my, my middle finger and my ring finger. And um, yeah, you're gonna see me go on with the poly gel two times and then I actually take my file and I crispen up that triangle shape. Um, it's a lot easier if you do it like this. It lets you kind of not be so stressed out of getting your triangle absolutely perfect. Um, you can kind of rely on that file to crispen that up for you, but it doesn't, um, I like, I love when people do nails like this, you know, this shape, but I just feel like on my finger, it looks like dog claw. Like, it looks like I have like little dog, um, claws, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like dog nails. I don't know why, like, I seriously love that almond shape so much on other people's hands, but for some reason on my fingers, it looks like I have dog, like dog claws. <laughs> I'm 
me and my daughter are finally feeling better. Can you guys tell? I, my, does my voice sound a little bit different? Oh, you guys, we were so sick there for a second, but we're good. So as you can see, I wiped off the sticky tacky layer on top of the poly gel, and then I crispened and filed up that nail. And then now I'm going to take the builder gel and then just fill in the rest of the part that needs filled in. <laughs> Um, when you're doing this, actually, I, so I have a video where I did a French tip look and when you're doing this type of look, you can actually take the second color that you do. So this pink, um, you can actually take this color and kind of bring it up on top of, um, the shaped filed poly gel color that you did. I don't know why I didn't do it. I was just being like super careful, but then at the end I did it. But you can, you can kind of be like a little bit more messy on this part because when you go to file, whatever, you're going to file off that top color and then your crisp shape is going to be laying underneath that color. So again, if that doesn't make sense, hopefully it will at the end. Um, but when you're doing this, you don't have to be so perfectly careful to make sure you don't get it on the other color. It's okay if you get a little bit on that nude color because when you go to file, you're just going to file off the pink and then it's going to be left, that, that shape's going to be left underneath, if that makes sense at all. <laughs> um, but as you can see again, I flash cured. So I, I'm just building it up so it's the same height as the nude. Um, you you want to make sure it's the same height, otherwise you're gonna be filing and it's gonna like be a it's gonna be a mess. So don't be freaked out if it's looking crazy, like mine looks crazy messy right there. You know, that's totally fine because when I file it, it's gonna be better. But um, a little thing, if you buy these, you can see how much poly gel or how much builder gel is left in that pot. Like not that much. Um, just doing one hand, it's halfway gone. So if I was to do both hands i would use one whole pot i i'm pretty sure there might be a little bit left but that's kind of something to think about you know um i will have all the products linked in the description by the way so as you can see i just filed really quick and um the beautiful shapes left on top filing so important you guys make sure you really take your time when you file and now i'm just going to apply my mccart base coat I love watching it go from dusty to shiny. It's like, it's so satisfying to watch. Um, after I do that, I'm going to cure it and then we're gonna take our SXC butterfly stickers. So from the SXC butterfly kit, these stickers come in that kit. And I'm just going to open these bad boys and put these stickers on my thumbnail and the two fingers that I did the, well, obviously you can see these two fingers right here. <laughs> And yeah, I just randomly picked the butterflies for those nails, like I mentioned. There's no rhyme or reason. Um, these stickers were a little bit meh. Uh, I don't know. I have, I'm very like, I either love the stickers or I don't like them. They were hard to take off and they sometimes broke apart, but yeah taking my kiara sky top coat my favorite top coat i use this one very very sparingly because i love it it's expensive um but i feel like these nails deserved it they are really cute so yeah i'm just gonna top coat every single nail and then i cure it but then i actually went in with another thing of top coat and i'm gonna do some rhinestones my first time buying swarva i can't you guys i can't say it Swarovski, is that how you say? Swarovski, Swar Swar Swarovski. <laughs> how do you say it? Um, yeah, so I went to Michaels and they had a little sale, so I bought some. But this is what I ended up doing. Again, I hope you guys like this. Inspired by Jenny Girl, I have her channel linked in the description if you want to check her out. But voila, here are my butterfly Savvy Land Builder Gel Pot nails. Um, very easy, very simple, yet beautiful and elegant. So yeah, I'm very loving these. Thank you again. I love you guys so much. Thank you for all your support. And my next video will be a murder mystery and nails one. So channel shout out to my members. Maria's Nail Journey, Shelly Bateman, Nailed by Sabri Griffin, Penny Vestina, Enrique Family Goods, Cassandra Lynn, China Fierce B, Kaylin Nails, Nicole Boyer, Michelle Foy, 
Alice X, Jennifer Landris, Crystal Colton, Alicia D, Katie Lynn, Dan- Danielle Monet, Kylie McGee, Vivi Rivera, Kimberly Cannon, Michelle Mish, and Bucket List. Thank you again and shout out to all my channel members. You guys freaking rock. Love you all. I will see you in my next video. Have a great night, day, wherever you live. Bye.